in my quest to read more African American uh, novels, I decided I really wanted to read this one that has been getting like probably medium amount of hype but I think it's also really important to what's going on in our society. And the name of this book is called This Is My America. It's by Kim Johnson. I really expected this book to be more political than it was, and I guess it was a good thing that uh, it wasn't more political. The main character in this book uh, has a father who is in jail, and he's innocent of a double homicide. The other person that they suspected for this is dead. He basically shot himself. But in so doing, the police were trying to beat down the door to get him and accidentally shot his son in the leg. So he's still alive, but the father is dead of suicide and her dad is in jail. So she runs these like Know Your Rights workshops um, every once in a while so to teach the community what to do when they're in these situations where they're being falsely accused or the police are trying to do things to them or whatever like what are your best things that you can do to avoid a, a confrontation okay but as she is also a journalist in her high school she tries to be she uh, is talking to the editor of her school newspaper who says she wants some help on an expose that is happening and wants to meet her the next morning. That meeting never happens because that girl winds up dead um, on the side of this like, I think it's like a warehouse with a dock, I don't know. And the prime suspect in all of this is the brother of the main character who is a track star, like really on the rise, but he was like he wasn't really seen with the girl that night but he was kind of taking up with her and because his dad was in jail for seven years for a homicide he is a suspect he's on the run now and there she's trying to prove his innocence just like she's trying to prove her dad's innocence and she keeps writing to this corporation called innocence x which is supposed to help people who are wrongly convicted to overturn their appeals. Her dad is on death row, only has like 250 days left. So we're down to the wire. Not only is it her dad, but it's also uh, her brother that is having issues. So that is the basic premise to This Is My America. Yeah, that sounds like America. Um, that's kind of, that, that is a lot of what we're seeing these days, a lot of. It's these stories of people that, oh, you're guilty because you, we, we say you're guilty. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw you in front of a, a jury with a whole bunch of rigged evidence. Um, no, not all police officers are evil, but we're hearing a lot of bad stories. I think the other thing that, that I do have to bring up about this book is one of the reasons why the police department in this specific case is a little weird is because the sheriff is the father of the dead girl's boyfriend so he already has a prejudice to what is happening however remember that kid that got shot in the leg her sister uh, his sister his sister is on the force so they have that advocate in her being an african-american girl who is also a policeman she can kind of help what's happening but at the same time she has to abide by the law because of her job so it was really interesting to see that dichotomy as well the mystery itself is very good um i, I could kind of see what was happening once the piece is really put together but the story itself was really great like i didn't care about who was going to inevitably do it i was more interested in the process of, mm -hmm. of what they were going to do to help the father or help the son really figure out what was happening in both of their cases and you do get that very satisfactory ending of yes now you know how and why and there were certain things that came out during the book that you're like well that was a surprise and i didn't really see that coming either but wow what an impact like it was it and because I had just read The Hate You Give, I felt that there was a lot of similarities to this book, but I felt like this book was also, like, just parts of it that were more lighter, but then there are parts of it that were just like, ooh, yeah, so good. <laughs> um, definitely good. I gave this book four stars. I really, really liked it. Um, I think I almost liked it more than The Hate You Give, which is interesting, but I really, I think I kind of did. Um, is this something you would be interested in maybe reading? Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye bye.